This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Hey, I'm not going to save this for the weekend, but this weekend, Maryland State Police will be enforcing a rolling sobriety checkpoint in Anne Arundel County. We don't know exactly where it is, but along with the Maryland Transportation Authority and the Maryland Natural Resources Police, State Police will be taking a mobile breath alcohol testing truck, which has been funded by the State Department of Transportation around Anne Arundel County. They are trying to reduce the average of 7,400 crashes involving drunk drivers on Maryland roads each year, so you are forewarned. This is all part of their SPIDER, S-P-I-D-R-E initiative. And remember also, with Maryland Transportation Authority and Maryland Natural Resources Police, those two authorities are statewide police officers. And while it's unusual, they can pull you over for traffic violations. Good to know. The 12th Annual Governor's Buy Local Cookout is happening on Thursday, July 18th. It is by invitation only. And Governor Hogan, I know you listen. I'm still waiting on my invitation. I'm just going to assume the Eastport Post Office has screwed up again and lost it. But the Buy Local Cookout is really a way to focus on creative ways to use Maryland-grown or raised products and draw attention to the bounty of food accessible locally to Marylanders. And we do have two Anne Arundel County businesses that are deeply involved with it this year. Monica Albrado from Bread and Butter Kitchen, one of my favorite places in Eastport, is going to be using ground pork from Enticement Farm Raised Meats in Harwood and produce and herbs from Kent County to create a special dish called Ban Mi Bowl. And also the owners of Enticement Farm Raised Meats are also involved and they will be whipping up enticing all natural steak and mushroom sliders with steak from their family farm and specialty mushrooms from Windermere Farm in West River. And again, this is by invitation only. It is on Thursday, July 18th. And Governor Hogan, give me a call. I'd love to attend. Hey, if you are a runner, here's a great race for you. It is the 911 Heroes Run by the Travis Mannion Foundation. It is set for September 22nd at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. The race will include a 5K, a one-mile family fun run, as well as a 5K Goruck, and is all about remembering the sacrifices of the heroes of the 9-11 attacks and the wars since, including veterans, first responders, and military civilians. According to race director Natanya Levioff, who actually the Maryland Crab spoke with about a year ago, you might want to go back and check that out in the archives, but she said, The Annapolis 9-11 Heroes Run began as a short memorial run around Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium by a small group of family and friends to honor former U.S. Naval Academy graduate Marine First Lieutenant Travis Mannion. Now in its 11th year, the run has grown into an amazing community event where more than 2,000 participants and volunteers come together to pay tribute, to honor, and to remember. Something very cool that's going to be happening with the race this year is that in addition to the race, there will be the Global War on Terror Memorial flag on display. Now this is a traveling memorial honoring fallen heroes and their Gold Star families. It's designed out of 7,000 dog tags of those who lost their lives in the ongoing War of Terror. It is funded through the Veterans and Athletes United and built by veteran active duty volunteers and military families. Again, this is September 22nd at the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. You can find more information at travismanion.org. Hey, Miss Shirley's is expanding. We know they've got a place in Roland Park in Baltimore, the Inner Harbor, and also right here in Annapolis, but now they are going to be expanding up to BWI as soon as the Concourse A expansion is completed. They say that the airport location is going to be smaller than the other spots, only occupying about 2,100 square feet with space for about 100 guests. There will be two other businesses that will be joining them in that expansion. One is called the District Market, which is billed as a marketplace featuring five, quote, districts, offering fashion, beauty, gifts, news, and healthy snacks and organic tea and coffee. In my book, that should be nine districts. Also, they're going to have an R&R seafood bar, which is a new concept by the same folks that own Obrickies, which is already in place there in Concourse A. All right, if you were participating in the Amazon Prime Day yesterday, we do have one more day of that today. And just a little bit ago, I snooped around to find some of the best deals on the popular stuff. So if any of these interest you, here you go. Uh, The Instapot Duo. 
That's 57% off at $89. That's a six-quart, nine-in-one, multi-use pressure cooker, which are all the rage right now. Beats Solo 3 wireless on-ear headphones. These are really good headphones. They're wireless. 53% discount currently at $139. If you want to stream your video, you've got Fire TV Stick with the Alexa Voice Remote. This is 63% off, and you can pick that up for only $14. Bucks. The Echo Dot 3rd Generation, which is the little tiny one, you can pick them up for $22. And if you want to add in a smart plug bundle, which will allow you to control your lights, appliances, televisions, and everything else through your Echo, that is only $27. And finally, if you need a computer, it's not the greatest computer, it's not the most powerful, but Lenovo Chromebook S330, it's 50% off. Right now, you can pick that baby up for $145. Again, this is for Amazon Prime members only. If you are not an Amazon Prime member and you have no interest in being an Amazon Prime member and you want to buy some of this stuff, I suggest you join up for their free 30-day trial and then cancel it on day 29. All right, that is about it for the top news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day because we do update it throughout the day. Click on that first link in the show notes. Find out all the ways that you can connect with us. If you are someplace you can leave us a rating or a review, please do that as well. We have George Young with your local DMV weather. He is on deck. But first, a little message about kegs and corks. Hey, it's Nisi. Join me Saturday, August 17th for the Kegs and Corks Festival at the Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds. Tickets benefit the Special Olympics of Maryland and include a souvenir glass, unlimited wine and beer samples, plus live music by Amish Outlaws, Jay Corsi Willis and the Stone Authors, and the XPD Band. Enjoy over 80 Maryland wines, 40 craft beers, incredible food, unique arts and crafts, and more. Get tickets now and start the party at noon instead of one. Go now to kegsandcorksfest.com for tickets. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, July 16th. Following a reasonable start to the work week yesterday, temperature-wise, Annapolis and all of Anne Arundel County could likely see daily high temps in the 90s every day from today through this weekend. Look for highs today through Thursday in the 88 to 95 degree range, with a chance of showers and thunderstorms each day to be followed by highs Friday through Sunday in the 92 to 99 degree range each day. And with humidity levels on their increase, we should expect to see heat index values each day near or above 100 degrees. So keep the sunblock close and stay hydrated as we make our way through the true dog days of summer. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there. Be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching for DCMDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. Head over to the Annapolis Town Center July 20th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the Annapolis Warehouse Sale, featuring your favorite Annapolis boutiques. Here, a pop-up sweet like summer shop for all your summer essentials and the art gallery pop-up shop in conjunction with Annapolis Arts Alliance. Enjoy giveaways, music, shopping, and fun. For more details, check out the Town Center's website at visitatc.com and follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Annapolis Town Center. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.